Since there are no Jews left in Bavaria, and therefore no delis or Jewish bakeries or bagels, I decided to make my own. That's right. Uh, we have a nice mixer. German made, of course. That really helps. We have our back pulver and our hefe, which is baking powder and yeast. And then we've made our dough following the directions. And there's our lovely dough ball sitting patiently for an hour. It's not that hard. Okay, now we have the dough and we're now gonna roll it to 12 even pieces, round it and stick them in the pan. I think I overdid the, the size of the last one. Those are big. It's a big New York bagel. Knead them, roll them, stick them in the pan. Hmm. Well. Little smaller bagels. I think they're going to grow anyway. There you have it. Now your uh, bagels have sat for a little bit and you just stick your thumb in there stretch it out a little bit i'm figuring i can make a bialy by just barely making a dent and putting onion in there hmm experimenting Now we have our bagels that have stayed in the fridge overnight and have warmed to room temperature. We have our boiling water ready to go. Our onion is what we're going to make bagels. Our onion is what the bagels will be. You preheat your oven to 230 degrees centigrade. Yes. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> or 450 Fahrenheit. Water is almost boiling. Egg whites are ready. I have a special bagel tool. Hello kids, you will soon be going into the water for a little jacuzzi and then we'll brush on some onion. You will become onionized and you will be a biali. And then we put you in the oven at 230 centigrade for 20 minutes. Okay, now we're ready to boil the bagels for 30 <laughs> seconds a side. There you go. <laughs> I do have this bagel ladle. This one? This one. Yeah. <laughs> carefully remove them from parchment. And here we go. <laughs> I don't know if that's hot enough. Water looks like that in the bagel shops. 
It's not bubbling. Yeah, it's getting more hotter and hotter all the time. Alright, we got a whole tray in there. This That's is the key. Enough. This is the key to bagels. Pressure <laughs> makes them chewy, not just crunchy. I don't know if that's hot enough. Maybe we can close it again so it's getting hotter. I think we're messing it up. It shouldn't be soaking up water right now. I don't think we're doing this right. You have to believe. <laughs> I hope. It's get, getting bigger, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're not supposed to be sucking up a bunch of water. Opening up. I'm flipping over. My first attempt at bagelization. <laughs> Flip over. <laughs> Not flipping. There we go. Hey, reluctant flipper. Next, we put them on the drying rack. These are Bialy. Now we're going to take the egg white. I'm supposed to brush it on, but we'll just fork it on. <laughs> This is to get the topping to stick. Oops, running out of egg white. I'm stuck in the Bialy. <laughs> you take your topping, in this case, onion. Oh, okay. Onion bagels. We are making onion bagels. A lot of people, you know, there's other types of bagels. Poppy, sesame, garlic. Mm. Um, weird stuff. Cheese. Oh, it's cheese. I'll try it. Put some cheese on it. Some time now. Yeah. I like onions. Can't have a lot of seeds. Diverticulitis. It's <laughs> helpful they're not getting too too brown in the oven. But <laughs> it's the onions. So now, so let's see. If the onion, onion, if the oven is ready. Yeah, have a look. If it's heating up well. Oh, okay. I didn't do these right. <laughs> now it's getting hot. Huh? Oh, he's got bigger. Mm -hmm. Bagel shops make these four dozen at a time. 
of different flavors. So when you're making them at home, different story. You only get a dozen. Yeah. Uh, now the two eggs are upstairs. Fuck. Just about all four of them. Can we put these in the oven? Yeah. Our bagels are finally in the oven. They're supposed to be 20 minutes, but until they're golden brown, they're getting there. Oh, these are gonna be so good. Gotta get my locks. My cream cheese ready, my capers, tomato and onion. Well, the bagels are done. One tactical error. Parchment paper and not enough flour. Next time I'm not using parchment paper. Just put them on here. So we'll have to cut this edge off. In any case, we have our locks, our Philadelphia, our tomato, some onion, and our capern, capern, capers been cut off and my German friend here Simon is going to try his first bagel yeah. with lox cream though. cheese and onion no caper I'm so proud of making my <laughs> bagels from scratch since there are none for hundreds of miles <laughs> Bon appetito good yeah, bon appetit, Guten appetit. <laughs> Well, my critique of these bagels, they look and act like a bagel. <laughs> they smell like a bagel, but it's not the right flour. It's the German flour that tastes like all the buns. It's also not New York water. So it was a fun exercise and they are re reasonable bagels. They even look like bagels.